Congratulations, Vitaly. I'm very proud of you, very happy for you. Thank you. First GM norm, that's always the hardest. Yes, it was hard. I know you worked very hard for it uh, over the past year, and especially the past couple months. I, I saw that you were very determined to improve and uh, to be well prepared. Tell us a little about your preparation. Um, I was studying, studying a lot, um, mostly during the night. Um, of course, uh, analyze with the computer and uh, with your help uh, when you teach me, when you coach me. Um, reading, reading some books and uh, also, with, of course, with the help of, uh, of my teammates. So they helped me a lot. Um, also, you gave me the, the confidence. You said, uh, you always said that uh, it's possible and that uh, I should continue. Uh, to practice, and um, I believed in myself that I can do it, and uh, it happened. I was impressed when the first day you were dressed in a suit, in a, our team jacket, and uh, you were dressed like you're about to win the tournament. So you told me that uh, your goal is to play on board one in the last round, and yes. you achieved your goal. Yes, I'm in board one, and actually I even I even guessed the. the the color, because the white was towards the the door, so I could see everybody. It was the best spot, <laughs> and uh, yeah, the suit uh, makes it makes you feel good. Yes, makes it makes you feel like a GM. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're almost there. Yes. The first step is done, and uh, well, I wish you good luck for the next second and third norms. I'm sure it's only a matter of time, and if you keep being determined, I'm sure you get there soon. Thank you so tell, much. Tell me a little bit about the tournament. Uh, how did it go? I know you started uh, with a relatively easy game in the first round, but then you played eight GMs yes. in the re remaining eight rounds, which is pretty unusual and uh, worked well for you. Tell, tell me about the games a bit. Yeah, I think that um, uh, why this happened is because um, I, I was always the underdog. I was 2300, 20, uh, 2380 against 25, 2600. And I just knew that uh, I have nothing to lose. So I knew that I, I, can, I cannot offer a draw. I know that they will not offer a draw. So it's either kill or be killed. So I just played uh, my strongest. And uh, um, yeah, it was, um, I, I took risks. Um, and it paid off. I, I had some little bit of luck. As, uh, uh, that never hurts. Never hurts. And uh, the, last, the last game actually was the hardest for me because I knew that I need a draw. But if you know that you need a draw, you cannot play for a draw. Because if you play for a draw, you, you will lose. So, um, as you could see, I, I trained, I trained uh, this line and I, I tried to win. Um, but uh, eventually Ray found, found all the right moves and uh, uh, we ended the game peacefully. Well, congratulations. I'm sure it's a very happy day for you. Enjoy it and yes. uh, good luck for the future thank you. tournaments. Thank you, Susan. And thank you, you and Paul, everybody, because without you and the help of everybody, it, it, uh, it will not happen. Thank you. And the SPICE program at Webster University is very happy to give you this opportunity and to continue helping you achieving your goal and becoming a Grandmaster. Thank you. Thank you.